Ohio State's going to be a big game. Spencer, that's plainly obvious. Okay, well, let's dive into it a little bit further. Is this the biggest game ever at Autzen Stadium? Depends on how you define biggest. It really does. The stakes are going to be immense. I don't know if they're going to be the highest they've ever been for any Autzen Stadium game in the history of Oregon football because there have been you know, a lot of football games. Certainly, this one's going to be up there. You're going to have a national audience watching on television. You're going to have more Ohio State fans than Oregon fans are perhaps used to in that stadium. Big Ten fans, specifically Ohio State, historically travel very well. So it could feel different. It will look different because Ohio State will actually be playing in Eugene, which is a crazy concept, but welcome to realignment. So I started thinking about where this game could fit in, in the history of Oregon football and how big the game is. It's going to be massive. Both teams should be undefeated. You look at the early part of Ohio State schedule and the early part, uh, part of Oregon schedule, they should both be 5-0 and going into it. You're going to have two preseason top 10 teams who are 5-0 and playing a regular season game, which could be the first of two meetings entirely possible dare i say likely but i i'm not i'm not making that prediction right now at least not yet other games though that would rival this ohio state matchup presuming that both teams are undefeated going into it and the winner would then catapult themselves if they're not already inside the top five maybe even into the top three in the rankings nationally you'd become almost a lock to make the college football playoff because you could probably even lose two games the rest of the season and still find your way into the 12 team format there will be plenty on the line will it be as consequential as perhaps a rematch in the conference championship game probably not but will it be a huge game? Yeah. And it's the first year of Ohio State and Oregon being in the same conference. And I think that's going to add to the interest and intrigue from a national television standpoint, where you're going to have college game day heavily considering whether they should be in Eugene. I'll get to more on that in just a sec. But whether they are or not, you're going to have a lot of people watch. I think when Oregon went to Ohio State back in 2021, something like 12 million people watched, which is a big number. The most watched regular season game every year is usually Ohio State-Michigan, which gets like 16 to 18 million per year. Oregon-Ohio State could probably be in that same sort of range. With the way that Oregon has recruited, the way they've put themselves out there from a branding standpoint, the momentum that both these teams have, the expectations they have, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a massive game. But other games it'll have to go up against go back to 2014 when michigan state came to town also a big 10 team not ohio state but it was a top 10 team similar stakes but a bigger brand so you'd probably say okay the ohio state game is going to be bigger than that one but that michigan state game was huge you could think of oklahoma <laughs> that's just oh man you can't think of that game I hope at this point time heals all wounds and even Oklahoma fans can laugh about that debacle in 2006, the famous image of the referees conferring who's got the ball, the Oklahoma guy holding it up. I got the ball. It's right here, guys. Oregon ball. Yeah. Oklahoma's ranked 15th and Oregon was 18th in that game back in 2006. So a top 10 matchup? No, not quite. Now, 2010, this was a conference game, as is this one. Stanford came to town, and Stanford was number nine. Oregon was also a top 10 team. That had Brent Musburger and Kirk Herbstreit on the call. The big game crew, as you would call it, if you play EA College Football 25, which I do. Quick side note, if any of you want to play me, shoot me a note on Twitter, and we will find a time. That was certainly a big one. From an impact standpoint, the Washington game in 2018 has to be considered here because that wasn't just a big game because it was Washington and because Washington was ranked number seven. But you look back retroactively and you say, well, it's the game that Kayvon Thibodeau says made him decide, yeah, I want to go to Oregon and play college football. That proved to be very impactful, of course. But it's also the game where Oregon football kind of marked itself as, yeah, we're, we're back to being Oregon now. The rest of the season didn't go perfectly as planned. But that re-entered Oregon onto the national stage. Nothing about this game with Ohio State is going to re-enter Oregon onto the national stage. They beat Ohio State 
three years ago in the regular season. So it's not as if no one's ever seen Oregon beat the Buckeyes before. And that win was monumental, but it was in Columbus, which is why it's not on this list. Another one that's under the radar that you know I've seen in my lifetime, and certainly I'm not the oldest fellow out there. If you remember a game from the early 2000s when I was but a wee lad and couldn't comprehend football yet, or the 90s before I was born, drop in the YouTube comments or shoot me a message. I'd be very curious to hear what you all think about the biggest games ever at Autzen Stadium. But one that flies under the radar is Washington in 2010. Now, Oregon ended up winning the game comfortably. Washington was unranked. So why would I put that on this list? Because it was the first time that Oregon had ever climbed to number one in the Associated Press. That was a really, really big deal. And Oregon, by the way, came out kind of tight in that game. But then eventually they figured it out. So those are the contenders that I could think of in terms of hype going into the game, impact, television audience. This Ohio State game is certainly going to happen. We might not know until after the game whether it's the biggest ever at Austin. But going into it, I don't remember a game quite as hyped as this one that brings the level of cachet and brand respect that Ohio State has, it's certainly up there. It's certainly up there. Right now, I'd say the biggest game ever at Autzen Stadium was that Washington game in 2018 because of the importance that it carried for the long-term outlook of Oregon football. That was a really, really big deal to beat the eventual Pac-12 champions. So yeah, if I if I missed any, by all means, let me know. But this Ohio State game, yeah, it's hard It's hard to put it outside the top three biggest games all time at Autzen Stadium. On that note, I got this question from Rex. Mailbag, always open. YouTube comments, X, formerly known as Twitter, at S. McLaughlin CFB or at Locked on Ducks. DMs and mentions wide open. If you want priority access and a bunch of other perks, go join the flock over at Subtext. Link in the description below wherever you listen to or watch this show. Free 14-day trial. If you don't like it, no obligation whatsoever. But you do get uh, more than a few perks over there. I make it worth your while. This question came in from Rex. Hey, Spencer, not sure if you saw the article from Yard Barker today titled Dream College Game Day 2024 Locations. They had week three listed as the Civil War game for college game day location. I'm sorry, but did they look at the rest of our schedule and have blinders on when Ohio State comes to town? Anyway, which leads me to ask if college game day comes to town for the Ohio State game, as much as I hate early kickoffs, what are the chances of a 9 a.m. kickoff asking for a friend, okay, it's me, who also has tickets to see Godsmack the same night, LOL. <laughs> Respect. Uh, first of all, Rex, those tickets should be, uh, you should be willing at a moment's notice to sell them if it is an evening kickoff. You can't miss Oregon, Ohio State. Not the first iteration as Big Ten teams. You just, you can't do it. Even if, my favorite artist of all time is Billy Joel. I had the privilege of seeing him in concert up in Seattle at the end of May. If I had another opportunity to see him, I would do it. If I had the tickets, but it was the same day as Oregon, Ohio State, nope, sorry, can't do it. Can not go. But the odds of college game day getting there are really good. It is not set in stone. So the college football slate that week is incredibly loaded. I mean, in incredibly loaded because you don't just have <laughs> you don't just have the uh, the Oregon Ohio State game you have a lineup uh, that includes Ole Miss at LSU the SEC is always popular Florida at Tennessee that one's not quite as likely Penn State at USC again I I think that would be Oregon Ohio State I'm just saying there are other contenders here Kansas State at Colorado, gosh, I would absolutely hope not. Here's, here's the tough one, though. Here's the tough one. Texas and Oklahoma in the Red River Showdown is the same day as Oregon, Ohio State. It is most unfortunate. That is a legitimate contender. Probably the biggest contender to steal college game day away from Eugene I, I, I don't know, admittedly, the, the folks over at Yard Barker, I hadn't heard of them before before this, but you know, getting game day, always a great experience in Eugene. It was awesome in 2022 when UCLA came to town and then Oregon was on uh, game day on the road 
twice last year at Washington and uh, and at Utah. So I think the chances are good, but it is not a lock. It is not a lock when you have Red River. If Oklahoma has a couple losses on the schedule, or at least one loss maybe, I don't, I don't know that they will, but if they have a couple losses on the schedule going into that game, that raises the probability of game day coming to Eugene. But as for whether that, that, that game's an early kickoff, that'll be up to the Big Ten. Uh, because if if they look at that game and say it's the biggest game in the Big Ten that week, and I believe it is, the rest of the Big Ten slate, Purdue, Illinois, Washington, Iowa, Minnesota, UCLA, Penn State, USC, Wisconsin, Rutgers. So yeah, like it's their biggest game. There, there's, there's, there's no question about that. It's just a matter of, is it going to be the big noon kickoff? Are there any other games that, that they would want to go for? I would think... They go for it. And am I here for a 9 a.m. Pacific time kickoff? Yes. As a consumer, <laughs> it fits very well with my with my schedule and my, my work schedule, my ability to to watch it live rather than taping it because uh, I'm or watching it while while I'm calling a game or something. So which it doesn't really happen. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that that ha- has got a good probability. I'm here for an early kickoff. It's going to be a big game. Can not wait. Love the question. I have more to get to in the mailbag department, but <laughs> before we do that, we're going to talk about the duck. This, uh, it's the greatest mascot. There's just, there's just nobody better. That's coming up next. <laughs> 